Hey, what's my fellow prodigy? It's Prodigy. He would just call me Jay. And today I'm showing sure you guys the best audio settings for your mic in order for a sound more professional and high quality. And for this video, I'll be recording my NW700 condenser microphone, which cost me about $50 in total. Now, if you're new to my channel, be sure to go subscribe to a notification schedule. Do like to upload quality videos I'm to enjoy, and go follow me on Twitter while you're at it. And shout out to Conserve for the classy comment on my previous video. But leave a comment on the video, you have a chance to get a shout out. And guys, let's see if you get 70 likes in today's video. Kind of do appreciate it. But without further ado, let's get into today's video. And just for a quick heads up i highly recommend that you watch this video fully to the end so you don't miss anything important because i'm very sure someone's going to ask me something that i already went over in the video now before you start recording you need to follow some tips for to get the best audio possible for your microphone now tip number one turn for your fans air conditioners heaters and anything else that makes a loud wind sound in your room because your audio gets heavily affected by the sound of the wind which will make your audio quality go down and if you say your room gets super hot when you record with no fans on then all i gotta say is suck it up because fans really affect the quality of a video and the same goes for consoles too since they can heat up and the fans eventually get loud. Now moving on for tip number two, have a nice position for your microphone which is very crucial when recording because if you're too close to your microphone then your audio will get all stuffy sounding and your audio will start clipping. But if you're too far away from your mic then the mic won't pick up your vocals as good and it'll make it sound like you're in a big empty room because I'm out of echo there. So try to find the best distance possible for your microphone that makes you sound clear and doesn't cause clipping. And make sure you speak directly at the microphone and not to the left or the right of it so you get the best full dynamics of your voice. Tip number three, get yourself a pop filter, which if you don't know what that is, it basically reduces the pop sounds from your audio like when you say pop or tart. And you can buy pop filters for very cheap as $5, which I do not recommend buying one that's more than $15 because pop filters, they aren't something that you should invest a lot of money on. Now moving on to tip number four, make sure you have a good mic volume because if you talk too loud into your mic, it may cause clipping. And if you talk too quiet into your videos, depending on your microphone, it won't really pick up your voice as good. So try to find the best perfect talking level for your mic so you get the best quality from it. And last but not least, Tip number five, make sure you try and record in a quiet area. And when I say quiet, I mean no kids in the background crying, no vacuums turned on, and just anything that would pretty much distort your audio in some way or form. And plus, having outside noises like that in your video can be distracting to the viewer and it may just leave. Now, if it's something that you can't control, like if it's like raining or if it's storming, then depending on how loud it picks up on your mic, you could possibly get away with recording. But overall, just try and follow these tips as best as you can so you get the best quality from your microphone. Now that we got those tips out of the way, I'm gonna be using a small recording I just had to use as an example for this video. Now, this is what my mic sounds like without any effects on it whatsoever. Hey, what's my fellow Prodigy? It's Prodigy. Here we just call me Jay, and today I'm doing an audio test to show you guys what this mic sounds like without my effects on it, and it sounds like garbage. Now, from that recording in comparison to my voice right now, there's a huge quality difference, but either way, we're going to change it so the audio sounds as good as my voice right now. Now, the first thing you want to do is get WinRAR or some program to extract files from a zip file because the software they're going to be using will require you to do so. And if you do decide to get WinRAR, just make sure you choose the one that matches your language and make sure it's compatible with your PC, whether it's 32-bit or 64-bit. And once you get WinRAR, you just want to download a program called Voice Meter, which will require you to go into the two links in the description down below to download both the virtual audio cable and the Voice Meter software. And while you're downloading, these programs, make sure you have a program like WinRAR to extract the zip files when you're done. So once you have the programs downloaded, you just want to drag the audio cable zip file onto the desktop and extract it to its folder. And once it's done extracting, go into the folder and depending if you have a 32-bit computer, you want to open up the VB cable setup. But if you have a 64-bit computer like me, you want to open up the VB cable setup 64. And once you open it up, you're going to have to go through the installation process of downloading the drivers for this program, which as you can see right here, I already installed them. So just go through the process and install your drivers, and once you install the audio cable driver, you will be asked to restart your PC, which you will have to do. So go ahead and do that. Now, after installing the audio cable drivers, you want to open up the installer for voice meter and go through that process, which as you can see right here, I already have this downloaded onto my computer, and I'm pretty sure you don't have to restart your computer once again. And once all that is done installing, you just want to open up voice meter, which if you don't know what voice meter is, it's basically a virtual soundboard. So once you have voice meter open, go into the description and download a text file of my audio settings so you guys can have something to go off of when changing the audio settings to your liking. So just download and go to the loading settings and go open up the text document that you downloaded and once you do that you will have the exact same settings as I do. Next you want to change the hardware input to your microphone which may be named something else depending on the microphone that you have. Then you want to make sure you have both audio inputs right here muted and also you want to have both stereo repeats activated so your audio is balanced on both levels. And last thing make sure the hardware output is set to audio point and if that doesn't work just use the USB audio device but I normally have my hardware output set as audio point. 
And once that is all done, it's gonna be time to change some of the voice settings. Now, I will note that my settings are not gonna match with everyone's preferences, so you gotta make sure you play around with the settings to what you want the mic to sound like. Now, each thing has its own purpose. The entire panel on top left changes the amount of bass and treble in your voice and just basically sets how you want the dynamics of your voice to sound like. I have mine set near the bottom left as it adds a bit more bass into my voice. Now, moving on to the fader gain, I do not really know how to explain it, but it basically affects how loud the effect you want on your voice. And then finally, the audibility just increases your mic volume. So, after going over all that I recommend you take your time and figure out how you want your settings to be and this can take more than 10 minutes if anything and if you want to check on how you sound just change the hardware output and voice meter and change it to your headphones which will end up making you hear yourself in an echo but I normally just recommend people to go into audacity record their voice and see how the mic sounds and when you record your microphone in audacity make sure you change your microphone input to voice meter output and this works with all the programs like Skype discord or other applications that allow you to use your mic now that we got those tips out of the way, in Audacity, when you start recording, make sure you have voice meter running and have it set as your default mic. Now moving on to this tutorial, I'm going to be using pre-recorded audio that I recorded with just voice meter on. Hey what's my fellow Prada G's Prada J, here we just call me J, and today I'm doing an audio test to show you guys what this mic sounds like with my effects on it. Now listening back to my audio, it sounds pretty okay, but we're gonna make it sound better. So to start, you wanna leave at least 5 more seconds of background noise where you're not gonna see anything because we're gonna be using a tool that will remove all the background noise, if any, in our audio. So once you get your normal recording in, you just wanna go highlight all your background noise, click onto effects, and go to noise reduction, and click get noise profile, and make sure you copy my settings for the noise reduction. Once you do that, highlight all your audio, then you want to go back to the noise reduction screen with my settings that I have for this and click OK. And what this will do is remove any background noise in your video and make the audio sound better. So if you listen to my voice now, Hey what's my fellow Prada G's Prada J, here we just call me J, and today I'm doing an audio test to show you guys what this mic sounds like with my effects on it. You'll hear that there is less background noise in it. Now I will have to mention that you may have to change the background noise settings just a bit depending on how bad your background noise is. Now the next tip I like to do is equalization. Now if your audio highlighted, go to effects and hit equalization. Now in here we're going to be adding bass to our voice which will make you sound more mature in a way. Now if you're a girl, you might want to skip this step because not many girls like to have their voices sound deeper but in the end it all comes down to personal opinion. But anyways, you want to change the settings to bass boost and at this part, it's really your preference on how much bass you want in your voice like for me. I like to stick around three to six decibels because it works well with my voice but with some people you might want to add less or more depending on the type of voice you have and if you're not sure if you have the right amount of bass in your voice you can just hit the preview button and hear what it sounds like now after you're choosing your preferred setting click ok and soon you'll see that our vocals have gotten a bit thicker from the bass now we're going to be going back to equalization again to add treble to our voice so click on treble boost and again the same thing applies it's all about how, what you prefer like for example i don't like adding much treble to my voice so i usually have it super low but it's all about your preference but if you want to, you can easily save your equalization curves into presets. And now, if you listen back to our audio, hey, what's my fellow Prada G's Prada J? Here we just call me J, and today I'm doing an audio test to show you guys what this mic sounds like with my effects on it. You hear how we increase the bass and the treble. Now moving on to the next step that most people do is gonna be compression. Now what you wanna do is head on over to effects and click compressor. Now I don't mess with any settings except for the threshold, which the smaller you set the number, the louder your voice will be set at, while the larger you set your number, the quieter your voice will be set at. Now for me, I usually keep it at negative 13 no matter what, but this is really all your preference. And once you find a level that suits you, just click OK. Now the next thing that you wanna do is normalize your voice so it'll make all your audio the same volume basically. So go to effects and normalize. And I like to say around negative 5 decibels for this, but at times I may change it to a different number depending on my audio. But again, you can change all these settings to your preference, but once you do that, click OK. Then for our final step, go to a hard limiter and copy the settings that I have. And what this is going to do is level out our audio at a certain point so all our audio sounds even in a way, like how we use normalize. And once you copy my settings, click OK. And once you do that, you're pretty much done with your audio. But one last thing that I like to do is add some amplify to my audio just to increase the volume of it. And I normally increase the amplification by two or more decibels just to get that right volume. But this will differ for everyone depending on your audio. Once you figure out what setting sounds best to you, just click OK. And you're basically done. And all you want to do is save your audio file and export it so you can later use it in your video editing software. And now let's listen to the comparison of my microphone without effects versus with effects. Hey what's my fellow Prada G's Prada J, here we just call me J, and today I'm doing an audio test to show you guys what this mic sounds like without my effects on it, and it sounds like garbage. 
Hey, what's my fellow Prada G's Prada J here? Just call me J, and today I'm doing an audio test to show you guys what this mic sounds like with my effects on it. Now, after adding all those effects, including voice meter, your mic audio should sound more professional than it did before. So, if you guys use the settings and use the tips that I taught you, your microphone will sound 10 times more better, improving the quality of your videos. And one last thing, despite me showing you guys my audio settings, these settings are not going to guarantee you the results that you want, as most of these settings will need to be changed by you because everyone's voices are different, and most people use different mics compared to each other. So, I just recommend that you take your time and go through all the settings they may have to adjust, which, if you adjust the settings the correct way, your mic audio will sound good no matter what but i think that's gonna wrap it up now i hope you guys did the video but if you guys can drop a like i do appreciate the support and go follow me on twitter because i do like that tweet out daily also if you guys can comment down below with your audio settings so like and if this video helped because i want to hear you guys have to say and because i do love responding to everyone's comments and also if you're new to the channel be sure to go subscribe to notifications because i do like to upload quarter videos so everyone to enjoy but anyways thanks for watching and let's see if we get 70 likes in today's video Now subscribe for more quality content in the future and like always, stay classy.